So today we're going to look at a CSS layout technique called faux columns. Faux, F-A-U-X, which is a French word that I guess means fake. So we're going to do uh, fake columns. Uh, we like to use French words because people think we're smart then. So here's, here's the deal. Here's what we're trying to accomplish. So if you look at this web page here, looks pretty straightforward. What we have is three columns with different color backgrounds and we can make that window larger or smaller and the columns just fill the window. Um, as I said, seems like that should be pretty easy to do, but strangely enough it's not quite as easy as you might think. So I'm assuming that you know a little bit about CSS layout and have done some of it. Uh, and what I'm doing is a very, very, very stripped down version of Dan Cederholm's faux column technique. Uh, you can see it in his book or um, on the web and in the description for this video there's a link to the article that he wrote for alistapart.com which is where I took this demo. Um, and as I said I've simplified it quite a bit so you might want to take a look at the original to get the full uh, explanation. But this is what we want to do. And, as I said, it's not going to be as easy as you think. So what you might expect, and this would make sense to me, uh, except that having tried it, I know it doesn't work. What you might expect is we're going to create a wrapper div that's going to hold everything. As I said, I'm assuming you know a little bit about CSS layout. We're going to create a header div to hold our header. Pretty straightforward. And then we're going to create three content areas. I'm calling mine content L for the left column, content C for the center column, and content R for the right column. Um, we'll give each of these a background color, we'll float them, uh, we'll set them to be one-third the width of the entire page. So the entire page, the wrapper is 960, one-third of that is 320, so each of these will be 320, 320 plus 320 plus 320 is 960. We'll float them to the left, I'll all line up next to each other and bang we're done now that would be great if it worked unfortunately it doesn't if you do exactly what I said here's what you get so I've got the wrapper that's 960 wide I've got a header I've got a column left a column a content left a content center and a content right uh, they're floated to the left they're each 320 wide which means that's one-third plus one-third plus one-third equals 960 looks pretty much like what I want except that they don't extend to fill the, the page. Uh, and I can do anything I want in terms of putting height 100% and so on. Um, it won't work. Um, they won't expand to fill the page uh, as, as we'd like them to do. So what we need to do then is we need to fake this and that's where the faux or fake uh, column technique comes in. So let's take a look at what we have right now. So here's the style sheet as it stands. And as you can see, this is adapted and simplified from Dan Cederholm's article in a list apart. Uh, there's a URL you can go to to see the original. A um, couple things we're doing. We're, we're using this universal reset to get rid of the padding and margin. It's a technique not everyone agrees with, but it's very easy. And as I said, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make this as simple as possible to get started. Uh, so this is turning off all the padding and all the margins everywhere. Uh, here we're, we're uh, attempting to set the height of everything to be 100%. Uh, as you'll see, this sometimes does what we want and sometimes doesn't. Uh, we've got a wrapper div. Uh, it's 960 pixels wide. That's how wide I've decided I want this this uh, to be on the page. Uh, margin zero auto will keep it centered for the most part. We haven't added the um, necessary modification to make it work in IE6. Again, I'm trying to just make this as simple as possible. Uh, white is a background color. We set the min height to be 100%. Uh, we've got a header height, color, padding, so on. And then here's our three content divs. Each one is 320 pixels wide. Uh, it's got a background color and it's floated to the left. All right, now we know that background color isn't really doing what we want. Um, I could leave it there, it wouldn't really make any difference, but I'm just gonna get rid of it because we've already seen what this is doing is giving us that uneven column look. And uh, we're gonna fix that using our faux or fake columns. Uh, to create the fake columns, 
here's what we do. Go to Photoshop and create a document that, uh, yeah, a document, a file, that's 960 pixels wide, the width of the page, and it's divided into three 320 pixel wide sections, each of them having the background color that I want. All right, I saved that out as a GIF. It's quite a small file. And now what I'm going to do is go back to my original document. And in the wrapper, I'm going to place that background, oops, background image. And I've called that background image, oh, gee. Uh, I've called that background image. Let me see. Here it is. Focal Demo Art. Now, you know when you've got long names like this, it makes it a little harder to remember, a little harder to type. I suggest you do what I'm doing right here. Select it. Copy that. I'm doing Command-C. Come back over here where I need it. I'm going to go Command-V and paste it. Uh, you'll be amazed at how many typing errors and screw ups you're going to say you know you're going to prevent by uh, copying and pasting rather than typing it in there all right i've left the background color in there the white will show up behind that so let me just save this and let's go back to our html make sure i'm using the right one i'm using the css called faux demo start let's make sure that's the one i'm using Faux demo start. Okay, that's the one I put it in there. Okay. Uh, now, if we look at this again, let me reload it. All of a sudden, magically, now I've got the equal columns. So all I did was rather than setting a background color for the individual divs, I used an image. Uh, it's automatically going to repeat. I have, haven't had to set any repeat specifications because if I don't do anything background images automatically repeat in both directions. The background image is as wide as the wrapper so I don't have to worry about it repeating side to side. There's no space for it to do that. It fills the whole wrapper. It's automatically going to repeat down um, so I don't again I don't have to specify that because that happens automatically. Um, Alright so basically this is it. There are a lot of refinements that you can do. There are a couple of issues that might show up in certain browsers that you might have to do a couple of hacks for. And in order to learn all that, I would suggest you look at Dan Cederholm's article in alistapart.com or any of the other tutorials on using CSS faux columns. But basically, this is it. Rather than using a background color, you use an image that repeats and fills the wrapper. All right, in our next tuto little video tutorial, what we're going to do is just adjust the padding here so this looks a little bit better. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, but there's a little bit we'll have to deal with in terms of talking about the CSS box model. So we'll do that in the next video.